she's pretty hot. So I haven't seen her for a while, so I'm happy to see her here tonight. Michelle, how are you? I've been busy. It's been a little chaotic here in the summer and just kind of trying to get back to routine. And I don't know where September has gone. I've been working away and I've been actually helping out a friend with cattle as well. So it's been an adventure. <laughs> All the cattle people here. Yes, that's is awesome. She will never forget us. We might be the bee green team, but we also love our cows, right? Hey. Um, Dana, if you can come on and show your baby, or if you're there, if you can, if you want to, that'd be great. I don't know who iPhone 4 is. You guys know, um, put in the chat where you're from so we can follow along. And Sheila, I, I'm doing a little bribe for them because I, even though you're fabulous, I thought that they should come on. And um, anybody here tonight is going to win one of our new products. Okay, you guys, because who doesn't love new? Michelle already ordered the whole package, though. So well done, Michelle. Good job. Anybody else get see the new products? Show of hands if you're without them. So I, I want you to put in the chat, if since you guys are all warmed up now, do you, um, I want you to vote. Is it this color you love or... Ooh, the new one. We have some nutcrackers and some stripes. Which would you choose, nutcracker or autumn? Or what are we calling this one? I'm not sure. <laughs> so spiced, spiced pumpkin. And spiced. that's the one I would pick, the autumn one. Spiced pumpkin or nutcracker. All right, put in the chat below which one you have um, would, would vote for because, um, yes, I... I'm not surprised that Sheila would choose pumpkin spice or make it up name anything she wants. This, you guys, please help, um, welcome Sheila Hercules from the Norwex field. Her her title, she tells me, is what was it? Devel <laughs> I think she made it up. She said something about <laughs> director of field engagement. I'm like, is that really a title, Sheila? I don't know. But you know, I'll take I'll take the paycheck. You know. <laughs> And, and thank you for that. You know, what's interesting. I kept looking over my head because I've got the same product that you do. Okay. Oh. And, and I'm going to tell you what is my most favorite. Number one, you are not doing that, that tea towel in pumpkin justice. You, you really, I, I want to see if my camera does it better. <laughs> Maybe not. Sheila knows it. Ah, okay, you're right. <laughs> um, it is beautiful. It, oops, geez, I'm making a hot mess here. But I'm going to tell you what is my most favorite. I love this. And I probably wouldn't use it. It's a decor item over the side of my stove. You know, handle? Okay. Exactly, exactly. It's but I'll so tell pretty. you my most favorite product. But you cover your, your fruit and veggies on the counter with it and you cover your baking and it's just it's so beautiful. The, the colors are amazing. So it looks like the voters are voting autumn spice, <laughs> pumpkin autumn spice. We've mixed it all up, Sheila. So welcome everybody here. Kaylee, let's say hello to Kaylee. She's here with Onyx. I think she's feeding them. Sheila, Sheila and Kaylee know each other. Oh, there's baby Onyx. If you guys don't know Kaylee. Um, Onyx was born <laughs> leap year day. <laughs> Can't remember, forget that. So um, thank you guys for coming here tonight. We haven't had a team gathering for a long time, so I am so super excited. And I have, Sh Sheila and I go way back. So yes. Sheila, um, you guys can ask questions along the way in the chat yes. if you like, but we're going to keep this to a, a short agenda, kind of a little bit of um, about the industry and the mission of Norwex. And then um, we're going to share a little kind of a surprise that's happening at the end. And we're going to leave time for questions. And we want to stick to like the 30 minute mark, right? Um, so um, we're going to get started if that's okay with you. Yes, and thank you. And thank you for giving me a time because if it, see, look, now I'm going to speed up my talking. If anyone knows me, I can talk for hours and hours with so, great stories. With great stories. Um, so what I wanted to do, I love going back to the beginning. I recognize that you've just told me how busy in Methane Alley everybody is. So I'm thinking that there is a lot of agriculture and, of course, farming. And, of course, we all love cows. And so there's people are very busy. This is probably a busy time of year. And just like Michelle said, where the heck did September go? It was still 
August, I can remember, I'm still wearing skorts and shorts because I, I don't want to get into the full gear yet. Um, but so sometimes here we approach September and I've always thought of September, uh, not January. September is personal new year. It's a time for renewal, recommitment. We start new routines. We start a diet. We, we, we talk about new things we're going to make, uh, our family rituals, and, and we just start over. So I love starting at the beginning when it comes to Norwich. So one of the things that really speaks to my heart is, of course, the mission. And I'm going to tell you why. And first, I have to say permission to speak freely. For those of you who don't know me at the end, all you will say is, you know, she's the most professional, unprofessional person I've ever met because she's just so real. So there we go. So permission to speak freely. Many times um, I've worked for Norwex for 13 years and I've done the majority of my work well, it's an RSM in the beginning in Western Canada, actually all of Canada, and then a lot of focus on new consultants. And I will ask people, well, why did you join Norwex? And they will always tell me, mostly, I joined for the discount. And I say, of course you did. You're a smart shopper. I said, but it's more than that. I said, you wouldn't buy something you don't like or you won't use. So let's go just a wee bit deeper. You join Norwex because the mission that Norwex walks out every day through its products of helping families to live cleaner, safer, and better, uh, reducing exposure to harmful chemicals and toxins. That mission is throughout our product offering. And your discount allows you to put those products in your home at a discount. So as much as you love a good discount and you join for the discount, you really join because you believe in our products, and you also subscribe, if you will, to, to our mission. So I think sometimes it's it's good to go back to maybe some of the beginning and ask ourselves, well, what is it about the mission that is, um, you know, so important? And Norwex celebrated its 30th anniversary. And the, the truth of it is that we are really now just coming into our own, if you if you think about it, um, because 30 years ago, now maybe in different communities it was different, but we're only now starting to really pay attention to the harmful effects of chemicals. You know, I'm not giving you any medical advice. I'm certainly not a doctor, but when you have a moment and you read different articles that appear on your laptop or the daily newspapers and conversations with people, a lot of things are now coming back to our exposure to chemicals and autoimmune disorders, skin disorders, breathing issues, neurological issues, fertility issues. And and quite frankly, you know, without at the risk of not, offend, I don't want to offend anyone. I've often said you'd have to live under a rock to not know that there is a strong correlation between human health and exposure to a lot of different toxins and chemicals. So how does how does Norwex play into that? Well, you know, if you think about some of the things we've done over the over time is we have sort of helped families migrate away from dependency on chemical products and use better alternatives that um, fit the bill. They took off all the boxes, you know, sustainable living, uh, clean uh, clean products, absence of harmful chemicals, good for the environment, um, saves the planet and saves families money. And I think there's more and more of that that's at play today in, in society. Um, think about it. Uh, when I first started Norwex, I'm sure the same for you, um, Rena, we were still drinking out of plastic straws and stores were still giving out free plastic bags when you grocery shopped. And I remember this. I remember that facial scrub masks that women and teenagers in particular would buy, the facial scrubs, you know, to help with blackheads, were made with plastic microbeads that during, I'm going to say 2012, 13, or 14, those microbeads were um, banned from facial cleansing products because they were getting into the water and fish were eating it. 
I can remember standing seriously in Medicine Hat at the at the hotel at Medicine Hat doing an event and a dental assistant stood up and talked about the plastic microbeads in toothpaste because she spent half her life digging out from the gums little plastic balls from toothpaste. That is, that is, call it 12 years ago. We have come a far way, a far way. So do I think everybody's ready to hear our message? In some fashion they are. Um, and if you were to ever listen to Amy Kadora talk, and I think I'm going to get this wrong, but but I think it will still be kind of a wow moment. I think Norwex sells an Enviro cloth uh, every minute of the day around the world. Every minute of every hour of the day. We're a global organization. We started from a small kitchen table in Dauphin, Manitoba, town of 5,000 people. What I love, especially talking to all of you, is Norwex grew up uh, across the prairies of Canada, not some big U.S. city. It was Debbie Bolton trekking across, you know, hitting Weyburn and, you know, Prince Albert and Regina and Saskatoon outside of Brandon, Manitoba, and making her way, hitting up all family and friends. And here we are today. So I think it's wonderful. Um, and sometimes... Uh, I'm sure this has happened to you, and sometimes you might even have your your own doubts, and it's okay. Um, but again, sometimes we wonder, well, is this really a, a an industry? What have I got myself hooked into? Like the idea, you know, like somebody said to me, "What are you selling rags? You selling cloths?" And you know how how much pride should I have in this industry? I mean, I've got pride with the mission, I've got pride with the products, and I want to tell you a few things because. Um, I think as Canadians, we pay attention to sort of sometimes the impact of uh, every industry. We're only a country of 36 million people. We all could fit inside of California. Um, and, and that's kind of uh, a shocking thought because we're very, we have so much land, if you will. Some is not inhabitable, but our population is pretty small. So our economy is important to us. But what's the big picture of this industry called direct sales? The manner in which Norwex is sold, you know, whether it's one on one around a kitchen table through a catalog that you drop off collecting orders. Or some of you might even do something on Facebook and, and texting, what have you. In Canada, this industry, which is called direct sales which really just means we're not in a retail mall. Direct sales means, you know, from the seller to the customer, there's no middleman, if you will. Um, I always like to say, think of Norwex as your warehouse, right? It's so much more than that. But if you thought about it, that you're a, a micro entrepreneur from your kitchen table, you're selling product, or if you prefer this way of thinking it, you're there, um, to sort of as an instrument of the mission to help people buy and use Norwex. I like that, an instrument of the mission. Just made that up. Um, and so this industry that I'm talking about where we share products in, in that way, in the direct sales industry, in Canada, it is, uh, you know, like three and a half billion dollars in annual sales. And what that does is it puts about $1.6 billion back into the pockets of all the different independent sales consultants uh, for all the different companies that exist in Canada. That is nothing to sneeze at. And what does that do for, for the average Canadian? Because I'm only talking Canadian facts here. You know, Okay, so about 7% of all direct sellers, 50% or more of their household incomes comes from this industry. But, you know, okay, so about 70% of families where one person is sort of dabbling in this little side gig, it brings maybe a little less than, you know, anywhere from zero to 10% of the family income and contributes. So what... 
what does this do for Canadian families who, when they're involved in direct sales? Well, it, it's not to buy a yacht. It's not to buy a, a beautiful lakefront winterized cottage. It's everyday daily expenses. It's personal goods and services or paying down debt. And you think about today, I was talking about this with my mother, the price of groceries, you know, um, the cost of living for the average family for everyday living, nothing extravagant, nothing extravagant. I'm talking about putting the basic stuff in your grocery cart. Um, and um, for those families that have chosen a really sort of um, natural approach to food, uh, the cost of buying um, food that is organically grown is, which is a, a percentage of our consultant base, is horrendous. Um, and I also know as a Canadian, the price of groceries outside of large cities. Uh, you know, I think of Victoria. Um, I think of, you know, Grand Prairie, Dawson, BC, you know, <laughs> You know, a bag of apples is is a little more expensive there than what it costs in Toronto, you know, or heartland of uh, apple growing areas. So every little bit helps. But why why do we exist? That's probably the biggest question. Well, I think sometimes we have to go back to our own personal experience of how we like to shop. And I'll be the first one to put my hand up and say, yeah, based on the pandemic, I can be pretty good with my Amazon now. OK, uh, because we were all sort of forced to find and pivot new ways. But but truly, I think uh, we we crave um, we crave personal interaction. Um, and if anything, because we work so hard for our money today, we are very much encouraged and influenced by number one is product quality. Product quality over price still is something we value. The second thing is the fact that when we sell a product to somebody, there is some form of a relationship. You know, I keep seeing posts about where is good old customer service out the door. I check out my own groceries. I take my own money out of the bank. There's nobody to talk to anymore. I dial a company for customer service and I'm talking to a machine typing in my number and I I have to hear eight messages and there's nobody live I can talk to. And, and we, we are different than that. We, we are real people having these real conversations with people. And through that, we are able to provide, I think, pretty top-notch um, customer service. And I think that that's one of the things uh, that attracts us. So what I wanted to do, because I don't know each of you individually, is to first get us set in the mission and then affirm that being part of Norix is still a great decision. Um, and then I wanted to talk simply about, or you could ask questions. Um, there's a few things that Norwex has put into place you may or may not be aware of that are really designed to support you because, um, you know, a lot of consultants find success um, with, having Norwex provide weekly mega parties um, that really, in essence, is another consultant doing all the heavy lifting. And you basically learn, watch, and invite your guests. But if they're shopping, they're shopping with you. Um, you might have a friend who says, I want to get involved in Norwex. And you're not sure. Every Tuesday night, there's a 15-minute call with Debbie Bolton. The other thing, though, is um, our new back office system called Nori. Uh, for some people, it was a challenge to overcome learning some newfangled technology. Some people found it easy. Um, but what Norix has tried to do is sort of stay with the times and, and help people be socially, uh, social media adept to some extent. Um, but I think nothing replaces sort of the real conversations we have with people uh, about our products. So I'm going to take a breath for a moment and say, Rena. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you, Sheila. That was very good. By the way, my name says Nikki Heidebrecht only because I'm stealing her Zoom link. But my name is Rena Roth. In case somebody here doesn't know, there's a couple of people I don't 
I haven't identified who they are. So please put in the chat who you are if your name's not up on the screen. Um, Sheila, it's so true. I think the most rewarding part of this um, experience with Norwex is is meeting the people and having those conversations of bringing um, solutions. Like it's not even just about making the money. I mean, that's that's still a goal, but um, you know, just those conversations and the rewards of. Um, like you said, there's no more customer service. You're always talking to a screen. So I think that's huge. And I think, yeah, Norwex is so on point with the mission and what people are seeking right now. And I, I had to remind myself of that, you know, like sometimes, you know, that's so costly and expensive, but then the long term you're actually saving. So you brought some really good things to cite there. Um, I One really of the things, you know, I, I, I and you're going to cut me off because I talk too much. You talked about the cost. Um, I, one of the things, and it's never to impress people or never to sort of um, persuade people. I think people should know their own stuff and hold their own in their conversations. But, you know, working with new consultants, I've had new consultants say, you know, Sheila, my friends, I'm sorry to say, they think the Enviro and window cloth is very expensive. And I don't argue with that. And my best advice is don't lose a friendship over a Norwex cloth, number one. <laughs> All right. But I said, I'm going to tell you how, what my discovery was and see if it helps you. And in fact, I probably still have it in my office when I used to do a lot of these calls. I bring out a trusty roll of paper towel. And, you know, the long and short of it is, we come to a consensus as a group on what this costs per week, how much we spend a month on paper towel more importantly what do we think the average community member that we know spends on paper towel we come up with the dollar figure it could be ten dollars a month or twenty or thirty dollars a month we times it to understand so every year a family is spending a hundred and twenty dollars on paper towel or a hundred and sixty well, what would that be in two years? Oh, that's 240 or whatever it is. And let's not talk about the, the cleaner that goes with it. I'm just talking about paper towel. I said, so you know how many trees are cut down to feed the North American habit? Yeah. You know how much waste that never gets recycled that this single use product causes? Yep. Yeah. How much is a window and Enviro cloth? Give or take $50. Okay, how long is it guaranteed for? Two years. What's that work out to a month? $2.25. I say, okay. The Norwex lifestyle is about a $2.25 a month cost to use two cloths that are designed to clean way more than paper towel ever could that are in fact reusable, are sustainable, only require water but when you have heavy jobs we have specialized enzyme and other type cleaners to tackle those and i said wouldn't you think that compared to a paper towel habit if we just use this as an, as an example that you can proudly talk because you believe not what i believe you believe that it's cost effective and all of a sudden, this relaxed approach of, you're right, I'm never going to lose a friend over price. Some will, some won't, and it's okay. But for me, it's the right choice for me and my family. I said, that's all you need to know. Yeah, that's right, Sheila. And they'll, they'll watch along, and then they will make that decision when they're ready kind of thing, right? So... Absolutely. So does anybody have any questions at this point? We'll let you talk. It's um been 20 some minutes. So um does anybody have a oh, so go ahead, Sheila? No, I was gonna say there's nothing off limits. Yeah. Off yeah, like um anything that's bothering you, anything you um want to know from behind the scenes yeah. or what's coming down the line. Um any anything. questions or concerns? Yeah, we're gonna take this minute to for you guys to comment along um it because it, it all is about perspective and mindset and um what you want from your business right or you know just being able for me being able to help families with little babies and stuff i think is like 
great and actually helping the the ones with pets now like i am i'm so excited to have this shampoo to share with people because everybody's buying dog shampoo or has all these pet issues i think the pet issues are more than the the children issues sometimes so i'm super excited to have these products um vivian you unmuted yourself do you want to say anything i you're i can't hear you though that's too bad You have to check your settings. Um, Michelle, you're always a, a nice lady of wisdom words. Um, what made you decide to buy, get the whole package today? Like, um, And um, I know you've been very busy, but yeah, just share with me what made you make that decision if you are comfortable sharing. Yeah, oh, for sure. Um, you know, I, I have ordered the packages in the past and it is nice, you know, to get the little bonus catalogs and everything that way. Um, sometimes I found that there was just products that I felt were kind of out of the price range for myself and for my customers in the area. So, you know, when I kind of looked through uh, these products that I would use and that I can promote. So it is a nice way to just kind of reset my business, I guess. I I've, I've, haven't been as active as I had hoped lately. And so by having all of the new products to share, it's just kind of a way to kind of get back into it and kind of highlight what's new and try to get back on track with my sharing online. Beautiful. Isn't she? Yeah, she's very good at what she does online and such. Yes. So that's, that's awesome. I love that. And you're right. The colors are so practical and the, just even to refresh your cloths after two years, right? <laughs> you know, it's, Exactly. And I think more and more people when it comes to gift giving are trying to give more meaningful gifts instead of a lot of stuff that you re-gift the following year. <laughs> Exactly. Or you can add to the collections now. I mean, we have a fox and now we have an owl and you can continue to add to the collection. Um, that's, I've, that's got, all I've got all the collections of all of the. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I definitely saw that the owl and it will be added to my collection. <laughs> nice. Um, anybody else Vivian, to add? Did you get your sound working Vivian? Oh, we have to lip read. No, darn. I really wanted to hear from her. <laughs> the owl looks so cute. It is so sweet. Um, I like that Norwex, you know, we asked for printed um, towels and things for our kitchens and stuff to be seasonal. And, you know, they listen to what the things that we wanted. I, I really appreciate that about Norwex, Sheila. And uh, like, I love my little silicone sleeves on my counter and my towels and I'm not a huge decorator, but boy, that was easy to set out you stuff. Mean, anyway, the two silicone sleeves, the uh, the sage green and the pumpkin that you can put for your forever bottles. Yeah. You know what? I, I'm going to get them. Uh, you could almost put a plant in them <laughs> with the white one. See, so look at this. Oh yeah, there you go. You probably could put a little pot or put it around something, something. See, they match the color. Yeah. So the bottles. Right. Her bottles um, can sit on the sink. But for someone like me, uh, I, I might think that green is inside or I, I don't know. And this is another room. But seriously, if you got tired of one, enter it in there and that sits on your window ledge. Sheila, you have good ideas. <laughs> Does anybody else have any um, comments on the new products or new ideas like Sheila on any products? Let's just have a sharing of your favorite hack or product. Anybody? I, Vivian, I don't know how to help you. Um, uh, can you can you log in on another device? Maybe try on your phone or something and then um, connect that way. And if I need to send you a link, let me know or that might be a way. I, I'm curious what you got. So, um, yeah. Want to know my hack? Want to know my hack? It's worth knowing. <laughs> she's gonna make. She's gonna have to shut me up. She's gonna have to give me the hook by accident. Okay, I have arthritis. Some days it's really, really bad. By accident, I discovered because I love the kids' mop. I love the kids' mop. Because or or the mini mop because the head size is smaller, 
So it's easier for me to maneuver it. And um, not only that, um, I just find it quick for me. By accident, a counter cloth was on the floor, one of the counter cloths. And I thought, that's the same size as the head of the mop. I rinsed out that counter cloth, got it, you know, hot water and damp, put it on the floor, put my mop head on it. And now that is how I wash my floors. <laughs> because there are days that the big blue uh, mop pad is too much for my hands. Like I could do it today, but it, sometimes it's too much for my hands to wring out. And I didn't want all that sloppy water on my floor. So that's my hack. What do you think, you guys? Give some thumbs up. I I also said that I sell more of these kids' body cloths right now because of the same thing. Um, older people or people with arthritis can't wring out our big body cloths. So I actually sell more of these at markets than I do the regular body cloths right now. And, of course, these little uh, travel cloths, they'd be great. Little hacks. The hacking cloths. <laughs> Just just throw them on the floor and use your foot to rub it around and clean it up. So there you go. Who has not dropped an environment kitchen and used your foot and done a little fancy footwork to get the mess off the floor? Come on, fess up. <laughs> Vivian, can we hear you yet? Okay, I'm here, I think. Ooh, yes. right, I'm here from Vivian. <laughs> She's here in Lethbridge as well. And uh, yeah, go ahead. Well, basically, I I just like I said, I I've, I've struggled. Like I've I've been with Norwex. I don't know about two two years, I guess, give or take. And you know, and again, I struggle with time time management, really. And also, uh, uh, one thing that I I I'm starting to do more of is not save my Norwex orders. Like I'm actually using them. I need to use my order. Like. Like I, I look and, you know, I'm slowly getting rid of all, all my other products, like even my dishcloths and stuff, my old dishcloths and getting rid of all the cloths because I want to replace everything with my Norwex products. So again, by using them, because I say I can't sell them if I don't use them and I don't experience them myself. So that's a that's hot tip right there. Hot tip. Yeah. You know, Vivian, what you spoke to is the most there when it's from coming from your heart, not a brochure, not something you read. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, what I love about it is, or here's how I use it, because that's how we buy a lot of things. That is exactly how when we shop or I don't know, have you ever been to a grocery store and there's this new thing and somebody else has it in their hand and you say, oh, have you tried that before? And she says, oh, yes, my family loves it. We have it once a week. And you think, well, if they like it, maybe uh, we will too. And you put it in the cart. We we love sort of other people's endorsements. It's like books, right? Um, I, I, I posted this and it's funny, it might have some relevance. I posted on my Facebook today, this thing I love, and it says, the best advice my grade three teacher ever told me when looking for a book to read is pick the one that's tattered and all looking worn and bent. That tells you that it was a good book and has been read many times. Well, I think that's also true about people. Sometimes look for broken people, but they've walked more miles. They got stories to, to tell and lessons to learn, but yeah you want somebody who has used it and so that's why consultants exist thank you very much does anybody have any other questions because we're going to get close to wrapping this up so we don't keep you here all night but we're we're here to answer questions i am going to share kind of our um, the secret news that i wanted to share out if that's okay sheila this is the time Go to for your big news it's so a <laughs> So there's mega parties every Tuesday night. Show of hands if anybody has ever gone to any of them. Because last last week or last night, two days ago, this, the one on pet care was on there. A workshop, a mega party. Um, last month, they had a skincare one. Um, they have 
um, they have a themed one every time and they always have a safe haven five one. If you've never gone to one, you will learn extra tips and tricks. If you're on social media, you can also listen in and then go to your own VIP group and share it. It's that easy. But here's even easier. You can tell your people, hey, there's a presentation going on. Please invite your, or you can invite your people to come watch if they've never seen a presentation, right? Maybe they're always using um, the products, but they maybe don't know how they work or the purpose or why we're using them. So if they attend one of these mega party meetings, they can come back to you as a customer, as Sheila said. And here's the news. Sheila asked me to do a safe haven five party on a Tuesday night, October 8th. So this is going to be a presentation. I'm going to do my normal presentation in the kitchen because she said that's where I got to go. I'm going to do my safe haven five party. I'm making it Canadian edition though. It's going to be a little bit more like woodland themed, you know, but Canadian edition, yeah. safe haven five top products, little twists and tricks in there. But if you guys would um, so much jump in, you have to register for these mega parties. It's free. I put, the, I put the link in our chat. You put the link in the chat. Oh, that's so cool. So you put the link in the chat, you register and you also register your guests because your guests are never going to register. So you just get their email and register and they'll get a notification when it is. So you don't even have to do the follow up. I mean, it's always a good idea, right? Follow up. Say, hey, are you coming to my um my upline safe haven five um, presentation? She's crazy. She's done uh, demos before she wore a wig in the kitchen. I'm not wearing a wig, but you know, just say that she's crazy and have your people come in if they've never seen a presentation before go ahead and look at your list and or if they've been a customer come here um the the 30 minute demo that it is and then you follow up with them after i would love to have you and your guests there um and uh yeah <laughs> well i i want to brag a little bit i want to brag a little bit about so rena was asked and invited um and these are are for all of North America. So it's it's Tuesday, October 8th. It's for <laughs> all of North America. Um, and while she's doing it on Zoom, that I put that link in there, it's also being streamed live into the Facebook Consultant Connection Group for Canada and the Consultant Connection Group for the US. We love featuring Canadian leaders because Norwex started in Canada. And um, Rena was asked because of uh, just her delightful personality and, of course, her skill and, and um, all of her abilities. And I think if she closes her ears, I think we got to rally the troops and get her team on there to at least show some team love and team support uh, for Rena. Because maybe Rena might get a little nervous, but if she knows that, you know, Michelle, Vivian and Linda, you're on there and, um, you know, Dana, and of course, iPhone 4, if you're <laughs> on there, then she, it's going to help her feel more comfortable because it's like, hey, team, thanks for coming and helping me out. Because guess what? Even heavy hitters like Rena Raw, they still get butterflies in their tummy and get a little nervous, too. Oh, just saying. Totally, totally. So if you are interested in joining me in this mission, I would love it. And I actually have verbiage and graphics that go along with it. So ask me for the link if you want to be part of my special event. And Sheila, I thank you so much for coming here tonight and taking the time for us team. And for all of you here, I need to know who iPhone 4 is. So please put it in the chat so I can uh, get your name. I will do the draw live. Um, right now? Um, I'm like, oh, I could do that. I could do that. I just don't know iPhone 4's a name, but... Um, iPhone 4, don't be... Oh, don't what be a, a okay, Sheila, you pick a prize winner, and I'm giving away a brand new item. Um, I don't know what the value would be. <laughs> I will give away a brand new item um, of a towel set. Oh, well, hold okay. on. You're making this hard. Okay, so Sheila's going to do the prize draw because, you know, she's Sheila. And we're going to do... And I'm going to let... No, you, the prize draw is for a brand new item. So the kitchen towel and cloth, it's not a kitchen towel and cloth set. See, I'm already making mistakes. It's two kitchen towels. You could easily have two lovely gifts. You could wrap a wine bottle in this, um, put some baking and send this off as a gift. It would be fabulous. So Sheila, do you have a prize draw winner? Uh, no, give, give, give girlfriend a break. I got to give everybody a 
Um, Linda, do you have any comments or questions? Um, touching on the downsized mops for a second, I discovered that that is the mop I keep in my little travel trailer. Oh, genius. Because I wash, because I can't take my boots off at the door every single time. So my boots are usually hiking boots and I wear them all the time. But so I just wash the floor at night before I go to bed. And that little, little downsized mop is the one that fits with that little narrow floor and the little areas the best. So that is my mop that stays in the trailer for a whole camping season. <laughs> and try it with a counter cloth. I will now that you've turned me on to that idea. <laughs> okay, I'm picking a winner now. Everybody got everybody got a piece of paper. No. Okay, who's it gonna be? Drum roll. Linda. Woo! Linda. <laughs> gotta <prove> awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Have a Linda. <laughs> All right, you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Unless There's everybody else's good. name. I she did it legit. She was legit. <laughs> I, hey, integrity is the only thing I got going for me. Yeah, well, at least you didn't pull iPhone 4 because I still don't know who that person is. Please message me if you were at the Zoom tonight and I don't know who Maybe, you maybe you have a secret admirer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, team. I hope we can do this more often because this was fun. I would love it. I, I, I would absolutely, absolutely love to come back and uh, thank you all because it's probably your supper time okay there was two lindas we've heard from linda oh iphone four is it linda okay linda blue you, linda nice that's who i thought it was she popped her face on briefly but i got you linda okay i i put iphone four in as a name yeah <laughs> So you were in the draw, honest, Linda. <laughs> you were in the draw. I could prove it to you, but you okay. were. I just got to go say goodbye to somebody. But Bye. You, you can. I'll. I'll come back, but you guys can chat if you want. She's I'll saying goodbye to her husband. <laughs> um, are you sure there's no other questions? Um, here's one that's not directly related to product, but um, <clears throat> so with. Norwex deliveries, we use our street delivery yeah. address. Now in Picture Butte, our postal is by post office box. So we've had a new changeover of post office employees here, and they will no longer redirect if our catalogs or mail outs come to our Norwex street delivery address normally they won't redirect it to our box number anymore. So how do I fix that? So the mail outs go to a different address. I would call Lisa Anderson okay. at Consultant Care. Is it a question of using multiple lines for your address? So Linda, 243 Maple Street, post office box, one zero eight apple orchard ontario do you know what i mean yeah okay it's, it, that's what i would do um okay. and because you can go in and then change all that and that way it's hit or miss you, you got both covered okay great excellent thank you well that was easy i know well, I just looking at the new products and stuff, usually we get like the little catalogs that come out in between the, the main catalogs. And I just realized that I haven't gotten any of those the last several months just because of this new system that's implemented here. But you always have a flip book, as they call it, online, a, a, a virtual catalog online. Mm -hmm. Okay. Always. So... I'm going to send, I send it in the chat, the virtual catalog link. I have it as a text replacement in my phone. It's N-C-A-T, N-C-A-T. And I, um, but I just put it in the chat for you if you want to grab that and you can copy paste it to your guests. Okay. If you have a website, you can actually go into your website to the digital catalog 
Michelle, you're going to love this. And then click that URL, copy and paste that URL, because then it's like, um, they can flip it like a catalog, but they can click on the new tile scrubber things and it takes them right to the information about it. Yeah, it's pretty, it, it's pretty snazzy for us. For us okay. at Norway, it's pretty I, I have to run, ladies. I have to go yes. phone my kids here. So thank you so much. I really enjoyed it. And well, good night, everybody. Thank I you so much. So nice to see your face. Susie's tea guy. Right. Y'all take care. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night. And thank you for pulling my name. <laughs> <laughs> so um I will send it out to you um October 1st. Okay. Sounds okay, great. good night. Thank you so much, Rena and team. I had a great time. Bye. Appreciate thank it. you. Good night.